Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can activate the new Windows 10 Ultimate Performance feature on your laptop or PC. This feature was added to the latest Windows 10 April update that was recently released. It doesn't matter if you are running the Home or Pro edition of Windows 10, this will work equally in both cases. I will also go through some details on what this Ultimate Performance feature actually implies and what to expect of your system performance with this feature activated. Then finally, I will demonstrate how you can deactivate this feature if for some reasons you find it unsuitable for your PC or laptop. And now without further ado, let's get right to it. So first, the Ultimate Performance Power Plan was one of the newly added features to the recently released Windows 10 April updates. So if you want to experiment with this feature and a bunch of other new features that came with this update, then of course you need to first get the update on your PC if you haven't already. The process is really easy and straightforward. Actually, if you have run your regular system updates in the last week or two, then chances are you already have the latest Windows update. But if you are in doubt, then simply go to your Windows search and type WinVar as shown on the screen and click on the WinVar command from the search results. You should have this small about Windows page pop up. Then check the version and ensure it says version 1803. If you have other versions like 1709 or 1607, then you are yet to update to the latest version. And to do that, simply go to your search and type check for updates. Then click on check for updates from the search results. On the Windows Update page that shows up, click on Check for Updates and then Windows should automatically download and install the latest April updates on your PC. Uh, if for some reason this fails to work for you, then you can also go through the Windows 10 download page. I will leave a link in the description. Here click on update now. That should download the Windows 10 upgrade tool. Simply run by double clicking and then follow the prompt to complete the update process. With that out of the way, let's talk a bit about what this ultimate performance feature actually does. The previous versions of Windows have had two power plan options, the balanced and the high performance. These are simply collection of custom settings that decide how your computer manages power to meet the performance needs for different usage conditions and application areas. From simple settings like screen brightness and when to turn off your display to more advanced settings like processor and graphic card power management. So simply put, higher performance would mean more power, more resources and vice versa. Now for some reasons, the new Ultimate Performance feature hasn't yet been activated in the GUI of Windows 10 Power Plan, even with the April updates. I believe that this would come at some point, but for now, if you would like to try out this feature already, especially if you are into gaming or graphic design or animation, then you will need to manually activate this feature on your PC or laptop. Before we do that, let's go ahead and see what options we currently have on our Power Plan. And to check that, simply right click on your battery icon and choose Power Options. That should open up the Power Option Settings page from the Control Panel. Of course, you can also open this page from your Control Panel under Power Options. Here you should find the Balanced and High Performance options. However, in some cases, you may find only the Balanced option as in the case of this PC. Here I have only the Balanced option, so I will need to manually add both the High Performance and the Ultimate Performance options. And that is quite an easy process. First, you need to open your Command Prompt Terminal as an administrator. To do that, simply go to your search and type CMD. Right click on the Command Prompt app from the search results and select Run as Administrator. Hit Yes on the User Account Control and you should have this Command Prompt Terminal. Now to show the list of options you currently have in your Power Plan settings, type in the command Power CFG space dash L and hit Enter. Here, as you can see, it shows that I have only the balanced option in my Power Scheme GUI. So now I'm going to add both high performance and ultimate performance options. Beginning with the high performance, simply copy this command from the video description and paste it in the terminal and then hit enter. Of course, you don't have to do this if you already have the high performance option in your power plan. 
Next, I will add the ultimate performance option. And for that, you also copy this command from the video description and paste in the terminal, then hit enter. Now, once again, if you run the command power CFG L, you should see all three power options on your power scheme GUI. And when you go back to your power options from the control panel, you should see all three options as well. From here, you can simply select your preferred power plan to activate it. And now just to show some of the implications of these settings, if you click on change plan settings on any of the plans, you should see the corresponding settings that go with each plan. And to see the more advanced settings, simply click on change advanced power settings on each plan. Here you will see a bunch of other settings that go with each of the power plans. And if some settings are not the way you want them, then simply change the values and apply to update the settings. The interesting thing about the ultimate performance option as Microsoft noted in a blog is that in addition to the custom settings you can see from the power options, it goes further to eliminate micro latencies associated with fine grained power management techniques, so basically making for faster performance. Although I'm not sure how much of a difference that would make, but I think this would be more obvious for higher end PCs and laptops than for average user PCs. And of course, whatever improvements you experienced as a result of these settings would come at an additional cost of power and processing resources. So if you are more conservative about your battery or power and wouldn't want your processor or graphics card to run high, then you might be better off with the balance or high performance options. And finally, you can simply deactivate the ultimate performance option by switching back to another power plan. Or if you want to completely remove the option from your power plan, then first change to another power plan and then click on change plan settings next to the ultimate performance option. And on the page that follows, click on delete this plan and hit OK in the dialog box. And then the high performance should immediately disappear from the power plan page. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.